Oh, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Welcome to another edition of Cavity Drinks. Tonight, I know I said I was drinking this. Unfortunately, an idiot kind of forgot to put it back in the fridge after his last review. So I'm going to save it. Maybe it's a good warm. I don't know. I can't figure it out. So instead, we're reviewing this. Once again, another Bach. Yeah, make fun of me if you will. But yeah. Bach beer combines old world Bavarian heritage with American handcraft brewing for a smooth, delightful, drinkable, dark beer. Prod. it. Why do they insist on putting foreign words on their bottles? Handcrafted in the same brewer where it was first made back in 1913, this gently hopped medium brown brew is the pride of Shiner, Texas. Spot Spotzel Brewery Shiner, Texas. Every drop of Shiner is brewed in Shiner. Spritzel Brewery, Shiner, Texas. Blech. Can you say that three times fast? Small town, small brewery. Every drop of Shiner Brewer is brewed right there in Shiner, Texas, population 2070, by a handful of local craftsmen who take pride in our little brewery and our classic Shiner Bach. First brewed in 1913, this lightly hopped American-style Bach has a clean flavor and a slightly sweet finish. Hope you enjoy drinking it as much as we enjoyed making it. Pros it! Our pride and joy. That sounds dirty. Okay. Yeah, so... Like the bottle says, Shiner, Texas brewed. Small little brewery in Shiner. Distributed in 41 states, the brewery is owned by the Gambrinus Company. Founded in 1909 and 1914, they started making Shiner Bach. Uh, during Prohibition, they kept the brewery afloat by selling ice and making near beer. After Prohibition, only five of the original 13 Texas breweries were intact. When the prohibition laws were repealed, large beer plants such as Anheuser Busch, Busch moved to Texas, making life harder on the small independent breweries. But Spotzel kept things small and fleeing, never going more than 70 miles for business. Uh, they've expanded a bit, I assume. 1970s and 80s, the brewery Shiner Beer and Shiner Bach had less than 1% of the Texas market. In 1983, Spotsil produced 60,000 barrels of beer. In 1990, only 36,000. Sales improved after Carlo Oliveros of San Antonio acquired the brewery in 1989. Production grew to 100,000 barrels in 1994, and over the next five, next 10 years, production nearly tripled. The company has 66 employees. That's not very many employees, really. 1970s and 80s... I already read that. No, I don't memorize this information. As of 2010, it was the fourth largest craft brewery and 10th largest overall brewery in the United States. As eight produces eight beers year round and four seasonal brews. The Shiner Bach is one of their all time rounds. Yeah, and that's all from that. Time for the traditional opening. Um going back to old standby, the magnet fridge church key. Blunt end. 
pump. Hmm. That's not bad. That's a good beer. Um, a nice everyday Bach. Mm, so we compare it to something I've already drank, I'm gonna have to say I prefer the back 40. Um, the back 40 was a little, had a little bit more flavorful. This isn't as memorable. It's not a bad beer. It's a good beer. It's just not memorable. It tastes like a Bach. Mmm. It, it it's like a beer beer and burger brat beer, a beer and beer and <laughs> a brat and burger beer now everybody say it with me a brat and big This is my first beer for the night, people. This, this isn't the alcohol. This is just me flubbing it up majorly. Yeah, I'm moving on. Now for the pour. A light head on it. dissipates really fast. It's very good. Hmm. It's just good all-around beer. You do it all around things like that. You eat, you take it, you drink it with friends, you take it to picnics. Well, most parks don't allow beer in them anymore. It's not bad, really. It's good. I'd drink a six-pack of it, eventually. I really drink more than one beer at a time, so no, it's not the beer, it's just the way I am. So yeah, I really can't, nothing jumps out at me to say about this beer. Sorry guys, that's the way it is. Um, so next time we will be reviewing what I said I was reviewing this time, if you read the comments. I've been forgetting to show you what I'm drinking, but yeah, there we go. Guinness Black Lager. Next time. Well, this is Kazzy, and uh, go drink a good beer.